Hey guys, welcome back to my bootcamp Nullsec solo PvP tutorial. Today we're going to be going over how to effectively use our screen to get important information where it's useful, while also trying to avoid information overload. It will include overview settings, what windows to have open, and screen layout. At the end of the video, I'll include a few other examples how you can set up your screen, because mine, of course, is not the only way to do it. My settings will emphasize a quick scan of your overview, modules, lock targets, and directional scan. By the end of this video, we should go from this to this. So the first thing we're going to do is hit escape on the keyboard, go to display and graphics and disable camera shake, camera bobbing, and dynamic camera movement. You can play around with the sensitivity and inertia as well. This will adjust how your camera moves around when you drag it. Next we're going to go to audio. A lot of people disable the Eve sound due to performance reasons and having multiple clients open. Having it on does give you the advantage of ship warnings and gate and wormhole activations. Then we're going to go to general settings. I suggest turning off the new map. The old map is less flashy and is easier to get information from. Then make sure auto target back is at zero. This is very important. I put the radial menu on the left mouse button and turn the radial menu delay down a little bit. I find the menu very useful for quick actions. Let's close this and now we're going to mess with the camera. Okay, so right click and hold, drag the camera to the left, and zoom out with the mouse wheel. This will change your perspective to be less cinematic but easier to see around. Then we're going to turn on the tactical overlay. This will give you tons of useful information. Now we're going to start getting the windows set up. First, drag out local out of the corp chat box. This will allow you to see how many are in local, even if you have another chat open. Go to the member list settings, show compact member list, and show text only. I also put show timestamp on. Go down to scanners, open up your directional scanner, hit this little button here, open in separate window, and close the main window. Go back to scanners, open your probe scanners, open in separate window, and drop that up here in the right corner. I'm going to move the selected item out of the way and move the overview down. I'm going to drag the drone window up here and move the selected item at the bottom. I'm going to resize the drone box so you can quickly see the drones you have and the ones you have in space. Next I'm going to open up the cargo hold of the ship. This is super useful so I can see how much nanite, ammo, and cap boosters I have left quickly. But also, this lets me use my drugs quickly in a fight. There's also a compact window button in the top right hand corner. I'm going to hit L, as in Lima, on the keyboard to open up my bookmarks in the system. Then I'm going to form a fleet with myself here to get the fleet window up. Then I'm going to drag the saved locations into the fleet window. I like having the fleet window open on history so I can save broadcasts for myself. So if I hit broadcast, align to this planet, it'll pop up here so I can quickly use it. Okay, so the next big thing we're going to do is the change the target list anchor. That's this little button way up here. I'm going to drag that down here. And this will allow me to quickly scan between my mods, overview, and lock targets. You can also align it vertically, but make sure you lock it. You can also drag individual targets to different layers if needed. Okay, now for the big thing, the overview. We're going to import a pre-made one. First, we need to go to this little hamburger menu here and hit the open overview settings. Go to misc, reset all overview settings. Go to the neocom, social, and chat channels. You can type in House of Three to get my overview settings, or you can type in Sarashawa Overview or Z -Tac S Overview. Follow the instructions in the MOTD of their channels. Mine is basically Sarashawa with some personal touches. You can also combine the two by doing all the Sarashawa links, then click mine. 
I'm going to click the blue link and load overview profile. You can switch between tabs as needed. Friendlies will just show in the friendlies, of course. Main will show all ships, no drones, and more pupils. Drones will just show drones. Four and five are customizable. Right click and there will be more options you can load into them. Few brackets will reduce the amount of brackets in space, which will help for performance in bigger fights. Travel shows nothing but gates and stations. We're gonna go back to open overview settings. You can customize your tabs here with some code. You can also change which bracket profile each tab uses. This is what brackets you'll see in space, independent of your overview preset. We're going to go to tab presets. This is where you can actually add things to your current overview tab, such as ships, NPCs, drones, and etc. You can switch to which tab you're editing by just switching between the tabs on the overview. Then we're going to go to states. This will change what will show up on your overview, not in space, based on standings, fleet status, criminal, suspect, everything you can see here. Always show will make things always show up, regardless of any other setting. Filter out will do the opposite. Show by default will allow them to show up only if nothing else above them in the list is filtering them out. Next will be appearance. This will allow you to change the color of people's states. You can drag and drop to adjust priority as well to see which one comes out on top. You can make the color tag smaller or the font smaller on the overview. You can also have these settings apply to structures and objects in space. Now we're going to go to columns. This one is important. I'm going to drag this out so we can see a bit more information here temporarily. You definitely need icon, distance, name, and type. I like having alliances so I can quickly see who I'm fighting though. Velocity is of course very important. Radial velocity, transversal velocity, and angular velocity are in their own way important but I never find myself looking at them because the tactical overlay is so useful. I'm gonna resize the columns a bit, distance, name, and type to around this size. Velocity, just enough to see the numbers. Radial velocity is how fast the distance between you and the ship is closing. Negative means they're getting closer. I personally don't keep the radial or angular velocity on my review to avoid information overload. Transversal, while it can be a misleading number, to me is an easy way to quickly gather some tracking information. Next will be ships. This will change how names and types look while in space. I highly suggest you don't touch any of the coding in these small boxes here while in game. It has a tendency to break unless you edit your overview files. I've put a tutorial in the description below on how to do that. Miscellaneous next. The targeting crosshair is the lines coming from your targets in space. I think it gets to be a bit much when you have several targets locked. Display damage indications is that red blob that shows up on targets if they're damaging you or have in the past. Display active module links will show a link between the target and the activated module when you hover over the module. Display in range brackets will show these little triangles on the target if your module is in range when you hover over it. Then we're gonna mess with the log. We don't need to keep this window up all the time. However, there are some settings here we should change. Make sure these are all checked and check show weapon type so we can see what is actually hitting us. You can also move where they show up in space. Then go to the filter button here and put this to a thousand messages, just so we can scroll down for a while if we're checking the logs. The last thing is this little hamburger menu under the capacitor. You can toggle display passive modules, which is good when you need to see the heat on your non-active modules so you can repair them. Then display readout and display readout as percentage, so you can see how much hit points you have at a quick glance.
You can drag this whole thing to the left or right, or you can align it at the top of this button. You can configure the alert settings for when your ship yells at you when you're taking damage here. Currently on the screen are two different screen setups so you can see some variation. Thanks everyone for watching. If you found this video useful, please leave a like and consider subbing. You can catch my stream with the link in the description below where I do solo and small gang PvP. See ya, and fly dangerous.